Okay guys, so I wanted to make this video for a while simply because AK-47 is an iconic gun. Not just in all the FPS shooters and CSGO in particular, but just in world in general. Durable, lightweight and cheap to make? Harry Truman probably had wet dreams about AK-47 being invented in the United States. Heck, there is a movie that came out in February 2021 called AK-47 Kalashnikov. And let's be honest, I don't think it will help you with your spray patterns and game strats for CSGO, but who am I to tell? Maybe it will, so give it a shot. And like, yeah, have you ever heard of a movie called M4 or Negev? <laughs> Me neither. So yeah, the good, the bad and the ugly, let's just jump into this tutorial. So as always, we just jump into a deathmatch. And unlike most other guns that I've made guides on, you just feel so comfortable with AK-47. Compared to using MAC-10 or even Galil, AK-47 is just insane. Obviously the main pro is the fact that you can headshot enemies wearing a helmet with one shot. This is essentially what has made the AK-47 the best general purpose weapon for terrorists to buy. Then you add damage and low cost of the weapon, and you ultimately found yourself the best weapon in CSGO. But Zuba, what, what about what, what, what about a knob? While AK-47 doesn't stand a chance against an op in a long-range fight, the price of the gun and everything else that comes with it uh, far outweighs the cons. And let's be honest, you are not gonna have 5 oppers on the team, and if you do, <laughs> uh, you can probably get rushed by an SMG and you'll, you'll just all lose. I mean, look, it's coming from experience. Anyways, let's look at the stats of AK-47 now. So let's just talk about the attacks on the enemy who has armor on, because logically, most of the time the enemy will have armor on. So all it takes to win the one-on-one -on -one against the enemy is 4 shots to the chest, arm or legs and 3 shots to the stomach. So it seems like the obvious choice for literally every game where you can afford it. So why do people still go for Galil or an SG sometime? Here's why. While AK-47 is the most powerful assault rifle in CSGO, it also has one of the highest recoils in the game. And of course there is a map to practice your recoil, but just give me one second here. So anyways, if you're someone new who is starting to play FPS shooters or you're moving from COD on battlefield, this recoil really throws people off. It's like, man, I really put 30 bullets in this guy and he's still alive. Yes, sir, because there is recoil in the game. That's why there are fewer newer players who use AK as opposed to even an M4. Anyways, as you can see, in deathmatch AK is pretty OP. So let's see how it stands in a wingman. So wingman, we're losing pretty bad because we started on the CT side on a short dust map. But then, look, on the T side, we... I would say we brought it back. And the part of the success I'm gonna attribute to AK-47, that's right. I'm not gonna lie, recoil was still throwing me off pretty bad. But being able to land those headshots and just getting somebody out of the game in 3 or 4 shots is just amazing. Of course, most of the time it wasn't just that 1v1 fight. And if I landed a couple more headshots, maybe would have won the game, but that just takes a lot of practice and oof, so much effort. Speaking of spray patterns, I think it's probably the reasonable time to move to the workshop map that I adore that will help you getting used to the spray patterns. I haven't really shown this map a lot because, well, lately we've been reviewing SMGs and shotguns and pistols. We have only just gotten two rifles. Anyways, let's look guys. So this map is the perfect map to practice your recoils if you actually want to get better at CSGO. I mean, if you're a recoil freak, they even have SMGs going. Anyways, the idea is pretty simple. You see the outline of the pattern up top, and then you see the green dot in front of you that kind of follows the number of bullets in your magazine, where it's supposed to be. And the goal is to hit it as close to the target in the middle as possible. And as you can see, the pattern of AK-47 is a little hectic. Of course, uh, the more practice just makes it better, and I have not practiced recoil in a very long time. But let's, for comparison, pick up the M4. Same as AK, I haven't practiced any recoil in a very long time, but you can just see how much smaller it is. Or easier to control, whatever you want to say. And while, for example, FAMAS has that little zigzaggy thing and Galil has a weird 7 pattern, for some reason they were easier to control than AK-47. They just go down and then right and then left. That's, that just boggles my mind. And for comparison, look, let's just grab Negev, the laser beam of CSGO, right? If you hate recoil and practicing recoil, Negev should definitely be your to-go gun, trust me. 
And now let's talk about the one tap headshot, cause that's literally what AK-47 is famous for. There is no other gun that can do that. But in order to land a one tap headshot, especially when the enemy is not right next to you and you're in a crossfire, right? You gotta practice that accuracy. And speaking of accuracy, that's where our next map is leading us. Okay guys, and this is a classic aim map. I personally like it because it's incredibly customizable, so it can fit any playstyle. We can make targets whatever we want. We can change their color, their size, their movement speed, and how long they appear on the screen. The default values for the targets are pretty good if you're just starting out and then later on you can make the targets smaller or make them move. There are three reference points the outlines of uh, game models. So for example if you are aiming for the chest you can make the target kind of the size of the chest but then it's a little tricky because technically you have to land four bullets in it, right? If you're practicing AK specifically uh, your best bet is just to making it the size of the head so you get to practice those one-tap headshots. Plus, another thing that I love is the fact that there are four levels. So start with the first one and then, you know, move to the second one and to the third one and to the fourth one. Especially if you're decreasing the size of the target, it will get harder and harder to hit it. And you know, if you manage to actually get to the fourth level and lower the target to, you know, size five or something, and actually hit every single shot, like, wow, you're gonna be a new person and you'll feel it once you actually play the game. So you don't have to grind the same map for 8 hours, even though if that works for you, that works for you. But you know, 10-15 minutes every day or you know, on your game days as a warm-up and you'll perform much better in a comp game. So yeah, at the end of the day it's all about practicing, right? And funny story, even with Negev sometimes it's hard to hit these targets. So if you do hit all of them with AK-47, wow! Kudos to you, my friend. But you know, practicing with red dots is a lot different than practicing with um, actual player models. So let's say red dots are perfect for generally practicing your aim and your reflexes. You should also use the next map I'm gonna show you as kind of a supplement to it. And no matter what we do, we always come to the aim bots map. As always, incredibly customizable and you can make the player models do whatever you want, except for the freaky stuff, unfortunately. So you can add crates and even ground, you can get them to move, to jump, to crouch and all that stuff. Or you can just make them stand and you just move around in the square and, you know what I mean, try to get as many one taps as possible. After you practice with red dots on the aim map for a while, it's probably time to get some of those game models. The recoil map is perfect for practicing your recoil and the aim map is amazing at training your reflexes. And once you're done practicing there, you kinda wanna put it all together on this map. So now you can actually see how long it takes you to get the enemy down. And, and they don't all have to be the one-shot headshots. They can definitely be chest shots, but here you will actually get that feeling of how long it actually takes to land four chest shots. Unfortunately here they're not shooting at you, but that's where deathmatch comes in after this map. So yeah guys, you have fun, experiment and most importantly practice. And let's move to the conclusion now. Okay guys, and this is the end of the video, unfortunately. There is so much that can be said about AK-47, but I would say the basics that I mentioned in this video are more than enough for you to start. The rifle works both in offense and defense and short range and long range, so it's really hard to kind of pit pinpoint the special use cases for AK. I would say it's an ultimate well-rounded gun that everybody has to know how to play. And the sooner you learn how to play AK, the better. And that's it for the video, so if you guys enjoy the content, feel free to like and subscribe, it would mean a lot to us. And if you have any questions, hey, just ask them in the comment section down below, we do answer every single question we get on our videos. And just like always, stay sexy and remember to always follow your instinct. Bye bye.